Welcome back everybody. Today I'm here to talk a little bit about the Walking Dead comics and the TV show. I don't usually talk about the comics on the channel, uh, but something recently big happened in the comics that I've been thinking about and I want to talk about how that could translate into the TV show because I do think it's going to be a big um, thing. And the, and the TV show does take its own route sometimes, but for the most part, it, like the main show, it does stick to the comics. They have like different renditions and stuff, but for the most part, it is similar. So in the latest issue of The Walking Dead, issue 191, Rick Grimes got shot in the chest, which is super crazy. Rick Grimes is not on the show anymore, so that's why I kind of wanted to make this video talking about how this could play out on the TV show. Uh, but a little bit of backstory, so they're still in the Commonwealth, um, you know, storyline in the comics, and there's a character named Sebastian who is uh, Pamela Milton's uh, son, and Rick is trying to overthrow Pamela, which kind of, and Sebastian, you know, takes revenge by shooting him in the chest, and that's how the issue ended. And now we have to wait for June, um, issue 192, but it's going to be um, to see exactly what happens because it did end with a cliffhanger of him just getting shot. But it does look like he is going to die because, I mean, we never know for sure. We're going to have to wait for June, like I said. But it's going to be really surprising if he survives that. And Robert Kirkman has always said, like a lot of times, that always at Comic-Con panels and stuff like that, he's always said that, you know, Rick has an idea of, or he has an idea of how Rick is going to die. And Rick will eventually die in the comics. Um, that's what he's always said for a very long time. So this could be that moment. And on top of that, Robert Kirkman uh, posted this on Twitter a couple weeks back. And he said, really excited for people to read this oversized issue of The Walking Dead in store soon. And, and, and as you can see on top, it's 192. And the fact that he said oversized issue, it could be similar to like what happened in the TV show where Rick's final episode is a big episode for Rick. And kind of we go through this journey of nostalgia with Rick. It could do something similar like that because if Rick is gonna die, it obviously needs to be an oversized issue because he's literally the one who started the show and the comics started the universe. So it does look like he will die in the in the comics. So that's why I want to talk about how this could affect the TV show. All right. So starting off with the Commonwealth, we already have a little bit of uh, little tidbits of information about the Commonwealth in the TV show. First one starting off with Georgie. Now, a lot of people uh, think that Georgie could possibly be this Pamela Milton, who is the um, mother of the person who shot Rick. Obviously, uh, they look alike. That's the first thing. Um, they're, they're dressed the same. They look alike with the hair and everything. Even the actress who plays um, uh, Georgie, she thinks that she's this character. But they're calling her Georgie. She, that Georgie could be the Pamela Milton of the TV show, or it could be just a Georgie, and there's a different Pamela Milton that we, that we will meet later on. Uh, but regardless, it does look like this woman is from the Commonwealth. In the Commonwealth, they are the next group that we're going to meet in the TV show. We had that radio tease at the end of Season 9. We don't know if that's from the Commonwealth. In the comics, it is from the Commonwealth. But again, just because this live-action Walking Dead universe is so big with different spin-offs and movies and stuff, we don't know exactly if it is the Commonwealth. And on top of that, Angela King has said in the past that to expect the unexpected. So I feel like a lot of people are expecting the Commonwealth. And I personally... I personally don't think it's the Commonwealth. I think it's going to be um, Rick's community, which is going to set up Michonne's exit. But I still think that Mac, because I think Maggie going with Georgie is going to be the connecting bridge between our people here and in the Commonwealth. So that's why I don't think it, the radio is absolutely necessary, but we will see. And another thing about The Walking Dead is that whenever a character dies in the comics, they usually, there's a character who usually dies around the same time in the TV show. Um, you know, if they die from the Whispers, it might not be the same character, but the Whispers will kill somebody. If it died from Negan, it might not be the same person, but Negan will kill him, so on and so forth. You get it. So whenever a character dies in the comics, we can expect somebody to die in the TV show around that same time. But the issue now is that Rick is not on the TV show anymore, um, and he most likely will not be in the TV show for the Commonwealth um, storyline. He will, if Rick ever comes back to the TV show, it will most likely be in the finale, the final season, something like that. But we can assume that he won't be there for the Commonwealth, which is most likely going to happen next season, the, probably the second half. The Commonwealth storyline in the comics, they have been going on for a while now, though. So um, we can assume that this death, if it's going to happen in the TV show, it most likely will be happening in the sec or in season 11, not the second half of season uh, 10. Because the first half, I think, will be the Whisper War. The second half will be the introduction of the Commonwealth. Something huge is going to happen in the finale 
Um, and then obviously that season 11 will fully explore, I think, the Commonwealth. Uh, so we can expect this death, um, you know, the TV version of this death to happen in season 11. But who is going to bite the dust when it comes to this comic book death if it happens? Because Rick isn't the show anymore. And it's kind of hard to say who took Rick's position um, because they ha Rick's it's impossible to fill Rick's shoes and even the characters in the show like the, even the actors in the show no, they say nobody has taken Rick's spot they're all working together as an ensemble um, to move forward with Rick's plans and there definitely was some issues following Rick's final episode but we saw during the fair all the communities came together and they signed a treaty which had Rick's um, you know speech on it from season 8 the finale which was awesome um, you know we had Ezekiel, Michonne, Carol, Daryl they were all there so all things kind of point out when people think like who which one character is really re replacing Rick as a leader um, a lot of things kind of point at Daryl because we saw him stepping up as being a leader and Daryl doesn't really want to be a leader it's just that um, the communities are looking to him as a leader because he knows how to survive and he really has no choice like we saw in season 9 how he was the one to go walk down to the gates and talk to Alpha which is what Rick did in the comics so the parallels there are definitely seem you know as um, make it look like Daryl is the one replacing Rick um, not fully replacing because Rick is still alive out there but for the most part you know big moments in the comics that Rick does like going to talk to Alpha at the gates it does look like Rick or Daryl is getting those moments so um, that's why it kind of put Daryl on the radar as possibly dying during this moment in season 11 which is gonna be huge now I don't know because this is a big moment in the comics and I feel like this is something that could work in the comics but I don't know about the TV show because we already lost so many characters on the TV show um, like I said Rick, Maggie, Michonne is leaving next season so it's tough to see if they are going to kill Daryl during this moment. I mean, The Walking Dead has said in the past that nobody's safe. Even Robert Kirkman said that for the comics. And we just saw in this issue that he is right. Nobody is safe. And this would be, like, really crazy if it happens. Because The Walking Dead has been playing it safe for a while. You know, especially, like I said, I've mentioned before in this video, that a lot of characters have left. So I, I do think that they're playing it safe. Like we saw during the Pikes. You know, Ezekiel and Rosita both survived. And I don't know. Ezekiel's a fan favorite. Like, I personally like the Ezekiel on the TV show more than Ezekiel in the comics. I think uh, Kari Payton brings a lot of charisma to the character and makes him so likable. So, you know, I am worried for him, though, in Season 10. Like, I feel like he might kick off the Whisper War, like his death or something. Because I still think another death is going to happen, which is going to kick off the Whisper War. Um, but, you know, as you can see, it looks like they are kind of playing it safe because... Looking back at it, the people who died in the Pikes, they weren't like anything like crazy or mind blowing, you know? And you could make an argument about Henry, but nobody was really that attached to Henry. Like, nowhere near as attached to Rick or any of the main characters in the TV show. Like, imagine if they actually do this in the TV show where this kid walks in and just shoots Daryl in the chest or something. Like, how crazy would that be? It would be like mind boggling, you know? It would just be something like out of the blue and nobody would expect it. The main character of the TV show, just like having the comics, the main character of the comics, just boom, gone like that. Well, we don't know if he's gone 100%, but we'll wait. But he most likely will be. But that being said, you know, just because The Walking Dead lost so many characters already, I don't know if they're going to do that because I don't know if it's a good move to do that, especially with a character like Daryl. But I do think they should take advantage of this and kill off a big character whether it's a character that's already on the show or maybe a new, a new, a newer character they might introduce in season 10 or something. Because this moment could happen in season 11 or 12, depending on how they uh, play it out. Other storylines they might want to throw in, we'll see. Uh, but I do think they should take advantage of this and kill a big character because it would make it feel like the stakes are higher. And I feel like that's what's important for The Walking Dead. Like, I remember early on in The Walking Dead, like the farm days and the prison days, any title character could have gone at any time. Like, we saw characters getting bitten left and right. It was so quick. And that's why I kind of wish, like, some of these bigger characters stayed on the show. Um, so some of them could end up, you know, being a big death for us to, you know, actually react to. Like, I don't know if we're ever going to get a Glenn or Abraham level death anymore just because this show is running out of big characters, you know what I mean? Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, this comic book death definitely did set up, uh, or foreshadow, I should say, um, you know, a big character's death. Specifically, Daryl is kind of what all things are pointing to because it looks like he is taking Rick's main, uh, comic book storylines or, like, big comic moments. 
Um, and it'll be a big shock if they end up killing Daryl. I personally don't think it's going to happen because it looks like Norman Reedus is going to stay until the show ends. But you guys let me know in the comments down below who do you think is going to go during this moment. Because I do think a character will die like this. You know, I'm sure a big character um, is going to... Because if they completely like skip over it, that would be a little dumb. So I do hope they are going to uh, focus on this moment in the TV show. But you guys in the comments, who do you think is going to be the one to get killed like this in the comics? I mean, Daryl is a type of character to want to overthrow somebody who is a horrible leader like Rick was trying to do in the comics. Like, Daryl in the TV show... I would, I would, I could absolutely 100% see Daryl doing that. That's why I don't want to fully give up on the, on the possibility of Daryl actually getting killed like this. Like Daryl's the type of character to be able to do that. So we'll see, we'll see. You guys, let me know in the comments down below who do you think it is. I'm not giving up on Daryl. I wouldn't bet on Daryl, but I do think it is possible. So I'm interested to hear your thoughts and opinions. I am gonna wrap it up there for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. And for more walking day content, just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>